We've recently tested a couple of pairs of Bone Conduction sports headphones on the channel, and I was really happy with how they all performed, especially the Shox Open Run Pros. Great audio quality, super comfortable to run with, but quite an expensive unit. So when I was contacted by Halo and asked if I'd like to test and review their new Halo BC01 Bone Conduction sports headphones, I was super interested because a lot of the design traits, a lot of the features are very similar to those Shox headphones, but they come at a much more affordable price. And I was actually pretty amazed when they told me what these retail for. Uh, I've been testing them out thoroughly for the last couple of weeks and I've been really happy with the performance. So let's dive into the video and find out if these are just a cheap imitation or amazingly good value. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and you are watching Run For Adventure. It's great to have you back and thanks for watching another review. So it is shiny new running tech time at the channel and you know if you are new to the world of running or sports headphones it can be a pretty confusing place nowadays because there's just so many different brands and models available. So the difference between uh, the Halo headphones and a lot of headphones out there on the market is that these use wireless bone conduction technology. Now, there's several brands using very similar technology, so they're not like your sort of traditional headphones that sit inside the inner ear. They actually hook over your ears, they sit outside the ear, and then they use vibrations on your cheekbone to deliver that music or sound directly to the inner ear, bypassing that eardrum. So all very clever stuff. Now this technology has been around for a few years. Like I just mentioned, there is several brands using it. I think the reason for it getting even more popular nowadays is because it just has so many benefits when it comes to listening to music, podcasts, audiobooks while you're doing any form of exercise. The first one has to be comfort. So the Halo headphones, weigh in at a crazy 26 grams and you know i don't know how they fit in so much cool technology in such a small lightweight package pretty mind-blowing so the other one obviously being because you literally clip them over your ears and the headphones sit outside your ear so like them sort of old school headphones you don't have to have that headphone stuck inside your ear which can get pretty uncomfortable, especially if you're wearing them for long periods of time. Another benefit has to be hygiene. So I think being able to keep that ear canal dry and clean while we're doing exercise has to be a much more hygienic way of listening to music when we're running, riding a bike, or having a workout in the gym. But for me, the biggest benefit has to be safety when it comes to this bone conduction technology. Over the years, I've dabbled with listening to music while I'm running uh, with the sort of old school traditional headphones. And I have gotta be honest, I just didn't get on with it. I didn't feel safe. Whether I was running on the road, not being able to hear the traffic, or being on the trails and not being able to hear other trail users, I just didn't get on with it, it didn't work for me. So I just basically stopped listening to music while I was running. The world has changed quite a lot recently and we've now got some great podcasts, some really interesting audio books to listen to. And I actually quite like sticking on a podcast and heading out for a run. And this is where that bone conduction technology is coming really handy for me. You know, I like to catch up with the Rich Roll podcast or the guys from Ultra Running podcast, but now I can hear everything that's going on around me, whether it be traffic, other runners, or even dogs chasing me across the towns, which is quite a frequent thing. And you know, I just feel so much safer running with a pair of headphones on now. Anyway, back to the piece of tech that we've been testing, and it is Halo's BC01 Bone Conduction Sports Headphones. Now, what do you get in the box? So firstly, they come nicely packaged. We've got this external box for protection, slide out the main box there, literally open it up and obviously inside you have your headphones. You also get a little box in there as well which contains your charging lead, very handy. We also get a really cool little sort of quick startup guide that actually makes it super simple to fire the headphones up and get them connected and synced to your mobile phone. We've got the full instructions and warranty 
But I also thought a really nice touch was they come with this little plastic case with earplugs in. So if you're traveling on an airplane, traveling on a train with lots of background noise, you can just pop those earplugs in and it will give you a much better listening experience. Now, if I just grab my pair of Shox Open Run Pros, you can see if I hold them both up, there is a lot of similarities when it comes to the design of the unit. And in fact, it's quite hard to tell them apart, but there is definitely some differences when it comes to the tech used and a massive difference when it comes to the price point. Uh, I think you might be quite shocked when you find out, I know I was, but I'm gonna keep you in suspense a little bit longer. The Halo unit is fully Bluetooth compatible using the latest 5.2 Bluetooth connectivity. So no need for annoying wires anymore, getting all tangled up in them. Simply hook them over your ears, press the on button and you are ready to go. We've got the titanium wire at the back there connecting the two units and they've been coated in this really you know, tactile sort of rubberized coating. Uh, that's great if they get nice and sweaty when you're exercising, really easy to clean. It obviously makes them very comfortable to wear for long periods of time, but that coating also really helps to control any bouncing or movement while exercising. Halo have used their flagship chip to deliver a premium audio experience, so should have really clear treble and a nice deep bass. So whether you like to listen to sort of banging trance music while you're out there running, or you're just taking mobile calls, or you just want to sit back and relax to listen to an audio book, then a high-end sound quality should be delivered. I've already mentioned the crazy weight of 26 grams, which is actually a little bit lighter than the Shox unit. You've got eight hours of battery life, so that should outlast most periods of activity that you take on. They also come with a really handy fast charge feature, so if you have forgotten to charge them, you can get some battery life in quickly. Uh, when it comes to charging the unit up, it couldn't be any simpler because uh, they've actually made the lead magnetic, so it just literally clips into there, couldn't be any easier, charging the headphones up. And then you get a nice little sort of battery indicator on the side of the unit, letting you know when they're ready to go. Or you can just quickly press on the volume button and you'll get a little voice inside your ear telling you how much battery life you've got left. Really simple to pair the unit to your mobile phone using that Bluetooth technology. So simply uh, hold down the volume plus button for five seconds in a powered off state. Obviously, make sure you've got your Bluetooth switched on on your mobile phone, and then click on Halo BC01 once uh, your phone has found the device, and that's it, you are ready to go, so couldn't be any more straightforward. If you're out there on a run and you get a mobile call coming in, really simple, just one press on that side button there on the head unit, and you can answer the call. Uh, the headphones actually come with dual mic noise cancellation, so no matter where you're running, doesn't matter how noisy it is, that person on the other end of the line should be able to hear you nice and clear. And then when the call's over, just one quick press on the same button allows you to hang that call up. Other features controlled by the side unit button. Uh, if you're listening to music, uh, a double click on that button will allow you to skip forward to the next track. A triple click on the button will allow you to listen to the previous track. So keeping everything really nice and simple and easy when it comes to the functions, even if you're out there running or riding a bike. We've got the two volume buttons on the side of the head unit there. So if you wanna turn your music up or turn it down while you're out on a run, depending on the surrounding noise, it's really straightforward to do. And then volume buttons also control power on and power off. So if you hold down the plus volume button two seconds, it will fire the headphones up. And obviously that same procedure will also power them down. So couldn't be any easier. Uh, you get the very handy dual device connectivity and they actually come with a waterproof rating of IP67. So a lot better than the Shox headphones that only have a sweat resistant rating of IP55. So they have it, the all new BC01 bone conduction sports headphones from Halo. A little bit of information about all the crazy tech squeezed into this super lightweight, very compact unit. Uh, now I've got a few uh, podcasts to catch up with and I think the sun is shining outside. So I think the best thing we can do is go and get changed, fire these bad boys up, and we are going out for a nice steady bimble across the Hale Towers, and we'll let you know all about how the Halo headphones have performed. Just pull.
pause that. So I'm currently listening to Trail and Error podcast. Uh, it's actually hosted by two local Cornish runners, good friends of mine, Jay Grady and Tristan Stevenson. If you haven't come across it before, it's definitely worth a listen. They talk about all kinds of topics running related. And in this current episode, they're discussing and breaking down uh, when Tristan ran the Thames Path 100, a great centurion race. And he won it. He's a pretty incredible runner. And he did it in some bonkers time, 14 hours and a couple of minutes, which is mind blowing. But you can see, I just came along the road there. It was pretty busy, rush hour traffic. Uh, the thing I like about these headphones is they've got really good volume. I've tested out open ear headphones where the volume just isn't loud enough and you hit traffic and you can't hear anything or if the wind picks up, it blows that sound away and you just haven't got the volume to get it right. With these, I just cranked it up to max volume and I could hear it super, super clear. So really good audio, but also great volume. So we're back out on the Hale Towns. Haven't been here for a while and it is my first run since running 80 miles at Endure 24. And I'm happy to say the legs are feeling good. So let's crack on. functionality with the headphones while you're running super simple to pause your music or your audio easy to take a call very simple to up the volume or decrease the volume it's definitely good to have some volume buttons back on the actual unit itself the last pair of headphones that I uh, tested didn't have that feature which was a bit odd and you were reliant on your mobile phone which is a little bit of a faff so it's nice to have those buttons back but really easy to find them super simple like I say to up the volume pause it take a call so really really functional pair of headphones you know when you're you're doing sporting activities whether it be running cycling training the gym whatever you want it to be really easy to navigate you don't want to sort of have to stop take them off and faff around with buttons so yeah super functional up with what's going on in the trail and error podcast world and i'm happy to say we're just coming up to sort of seven miles in the run and the body is feeling good uh, the further i've got in the run the more my legs have sort of loosened up and come back to life uh, we just discussed the audio quality but we haven't gone into comfort yet and I have to say it, and I'm always going to compare them to the, the Shox Open Run Pros that we tested earlier in the year because, you know, they're considered the sort of premium bone conducting headphones. Uh, I have to say, these feel and fit very, very similar. You know, the same ergonomic design. These are a little bit lighter, but you've also got that rubberized coating on them that really helps when it comes to comfort with them fitting over the ear but it also really helps when it comes to movement. So, you know, I can literally shake my head around like a crazy man and they don't move a millimeter. It's pretty impressive, you know, it's very clever design. So if you're out here running, if you're in the gym working out, or if you're on your bike, whether it be on the road or jumping dirt jumps, these things are not gonna budge. Uh, hopefully the audio is okay on the GoPro because we're on top of a, a tower in here, on top of a dune, and uh, it's quite blustery. And I have to say it, even though it is quite blustery, I actually think the audio in windy conditions is actually better than the Shox headphones. You know, uh, I did run them in a couple of uh, on a couple of windy runs, and sometimes I did struggle to hear what I was listening to. Whereas out here today, it is still crystal clear, and like I say, it is a bit blowy. So. The run's going well when it comes to my body and the run is going well when it comes to the headphones. I think it's uh, about time we headed back to the flat. I think we need to break down how they've performed in a bit more detail. And I'm still leaving you hanging when it comes to the price because I think when you think about the performance, the fit, the audio, the comfort, I think you guys are gonna be really surprised when I tell you what these are retailing for. So like I say, half a mile to go till we're home. So let's get back to the flat and let's break down the performance in a bit more detail. 
Well, back from a very positive run for many different reasons. Firstly, my body felt great, even though I ran 80 miles in Dura 24 the other week. No issues, and the legs got looser the further I run, which is always a good thing. Also great to catch up with the, the guys from Trail and Error podcast and hear all about Tristan's exploits while running the Thames Path 100. The Halo headphones performed really well out there today. And that was the first sort of proper windy run that I've taken them out on. And the audio quality was fantastic. They actually fit and feel very similar to the Open Run Pros. And you know, that's not a bad thing because they are great sports headphones. But when you take into consideration the performance and the design, the fact they are slightly lighter and they've got that superior waterproof rating. And out on today's run, like I said, it was blustery and the audio quality I feel was a little bit better than the Shox headphones. They were still super, super clear. And then you have the Piesta de Resistance and that is the price. So finally, I'm gonna put you out of your miseries and you can pick yourself up a pair of the Halo BC01s for only 99.99. So that is a 60 pound saving when you compare it to the Shox unit. But, and it is a big but, it doesn't stop there because the kind folk from Halo have offered our viewers a discount code. So if you go along to the link in our description and use this code, you can pick yourself up a pair of the new Halo bone conduction headphones for the crazy price of only $64.99. So you could actually buy yourself two pairs of these and still have change left when you compare it to the Shox unit. So that is another tech review crushed at Run For Adventure. Really hope you enjoyed it guys, really hope you found it helpful. Just a little side note, if you do end up purchasing a pair of the Halo units, when you fire them up, put them over your ears and a little voice starts speaking to you in Chinese. Don't worry like I did. You know, I thought, well, I, I can't review these. I can't understand what they're saying. You can change the language very simply by pressing on the two volume buttons and the headset button simultaneously. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna find out any more information on the unit or you wanna end up purchasing yourself a pair. Uh, what I will say, if you're in the market for a pair of um, good quality sports headphones that are safe to use, then bone conduction technology is definitely the way to go. Uh, and with the unit being so comfortable, lightweight, a great waterproof rating, and at that brilliant price, I think the Halo BC01s are a no-brainer. And I almost forgot to mention that they've actually just recently been voted the best bone conducting headphones of 2022 by Red Dot. So all really impressive stuff. Don't forget, if you have enjoyed the review and you found it helpful, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But don't forget to hit that bell icon, super important, because then you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting running content. We're just about to start getting ready for our trip up country to Freedom Racing's brilliant Salomon Serpent Trail 50K. Uh, it's a race I've run a couple of times. Liga ran uh, the 100K last year, but we're gonna both be on the start line of the 50K. Uh, really looking forward to the weekend away. Always an amazing atmosphere at the race. If any of you guys are heading that way um, to get on the start line, then please, uh, if you see us, come over, say hello. Always great to put you know, faces to names and uh, meet the viewers and supporters of the channel. So please come over and say hello. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. It's always appreciated. We will see you back here very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. It's great to have you back and thanks for watching another review. So I've forgotten completely. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and you are watching Run For Adventure. Welcome back, oh, <laughs> riding a bike or having a workout in the gym. But for me, the biggest, uh, uh...